916, the uh, November elections are, as you could tell by your own calendar, several months off. <clears throat> Having said that, Pritzker and Round are pounding on each other already. And yesterday, J.B. Pritzker came out hard against Governor Rauner. Was it two days ago now? I think it was yesterday. Uh, talking about the fact that the uh, governor wants to provide opportunities for uh, kids who are economically challenged to go to better schools by way of scholarships and things, and tax credits for those that help. Uh, Pritzker said he wants to do away. He wants to do away with it immediately and went hard after Governor Rauner on it. Here to discuss it, Evelyn Sanguinetti, the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Illinois. Good morning. Good morning, Steve. Thank you so much for having me this morning. I appreciate you being on. So, uh, from the governor and your standpoint, what is the argument here? Right. So it's uh, I'm surprised he's even making such an argument. You know, this is a bipartisan scholarship program, and it's to help low-income students. It's, this is a personal uh, offense to me because I was saved by an educational opportunity. Right. I'm one of those kids that w- was raised in a very poor community and failed the first grade. And it was an educational opportunity in high school that saved my life. And for this man to get out there and say that that opportunity is not going to be available for kids in underserved communities is just astonishing to me. And I think it's a sign of what you you should expect uh, to come from from somebody like Pritzker. Isn't it? A, don't we get into get to kind of dangerous waters here, Lieutenant Governor, when we're talking about number one, increasing taxes in general, but then taxing people of various income levels based on how much they make? Yeah, well, that that's very gener- that's very dangerous territory. Not to mention that I don't know where he's been. We've been in a fiscal shortfall for decades. And so that's what he needs to focus on. He needs to focus on what Bruce Rauner has been focusing on, which is growing our way out of our problems, create a background so that businesses would want to come to Illinois and do business in Illinois. And he's not doing that. So I just think that we all need to take a look at Pritzker and uh, accept him for what he is. And I think that this first uh, this first hit that he took at this bipartisan scholarship program for low income students is a good sign for us all to take in. Because, again, this was a measure that took a very long time. You folks know that for decades politicians kept kicking that educational can down the road. And it's been with Bruce Rauner that we finally have an equitable funding formula for kids in all 102 counties. It's been Bruce Rauner that's given the most money for education funding. And it's been Bruce Rauner that has offered this bipartisan scholarship program. So I just ask the public to please tread with caution, to please do their reading. Yeah, that's because right. Pritzker is very dangerous. Yeah, do your homework. Do your homework all the time. You don't have to take the lieutenant governor's word for it or my word for it or anybody else's word for it that you hear. Do your own homework so that you are satisfied. But don't stop where your beliefs are met. Do your full homework and find out why there's two sides to an argument. Now, I think an important piece of this that we haven't discussed yet is um, Governor Rauner has made no secret of his support of charter schools through the years. Um, this, and, and what's the big argument against charter schools? takes money out of the public school system. Uh, there is nothing I have seen in this measure, this bipartisan measure, that takes a dime away from public schools. Is that true or not true? You are correct in that regard. You are correct. And again, you know, I, I bring it over. You know, I was just on the west side with LaShawn Ford, Representative LaShawn Ford, who is on the other side of the aisle. But he was one of the people that said that this bipartisan scholarship program is good for his community because it gives children access and opportunity. And that's what it's all about. It's not about Republican. It's not about Democrats. It's about giving our children in Illinois access and opportunity so that we could all have a playing field that is equitable for all of us. I've been there. I've been in underserved classrooms where we didn't have that sort of access and opportunity. And let me tell you, it's devastating. And these children should not feel like they're children of a lesser God because that access and that opportunity is not available to them. So please do your homework. Tread with caution because education should not be uh, in the middle of all of this for Pritzker to kill. 